Hartford, Josh Autistic Thunder Marwitz, everybody! My name is Jeff Ross. We have some fucking great roast battles tonight, I hope. Are you ready for your referee? Make it loud, everybody. This is fucking important right now for Brian motherfucking Moses! <laughs> so far. And folks, Jeff's right. This is the Joke Writer Showcase known as the Rose Battle. Make some more noise. Come on. What's happening, Brian? What's going on tonight? It's a good week, man. It's a good week. Uh, there's still a couple wars happening. Ukraine and Russia are still fighting. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. I didn't uh, want... Yeah, then uh, that's, that's all I got. I think that's it. That's what's I, happening in the streets right now. I was watching TikTok today, and it seems like um, I didn't watch the whole video, but it seems like Hamas is doing a great job. <laughs> Are they heading the polls? I don't know. They're kind of killing it? I heard they're going to unionize. They're going to unionize? I Shout out Hamas. You're in the building. Don't take over the building. Shit. Uh, <laughs> right? Good to see you. This is roast battle. If we don't laugh, we cry. Oh, hi, Jay. What? Hi, Yamanika. The firing squad is here. Jay. Wow. Saving me from myself uh, talking about Hamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank don't you. Don't fuck with the Jews, Jeff. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. We survived the Pharaoh, the Nazis, and Saddam Hussein, and if Jesus comes back, we'll kill him again. <laughs> Here, here. I'm out of that Jews. immediately. Okay? I'll say this. Jeff, here's here's how you stop Hamas. You got to send Jada Pinkett over there. Exactly. <laughs> She'll shut that whole shit down. She's my alopecia spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of terrorists, that Jada Pinkett really needs to free the hostages. <laughs> what hostages? Her whole family, they must be hostages. <laughs> That's why he's the roast master. Make a little is it, Jeff it, is it though? <laughs> I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Who's uh, who are the judges with you tonight, Jeff? Jay Light. Hi, Jay. How you doing, man? Hi, everybody. Oh, Great Writer to see you, buddy. Seasons of roast battle. Performed on a couple seasons of roast battle. Make yeah. it loud for the legend, Jay Light. Thank you. Rice for Master Chef and BattleBots. Yes. <laughs> about to, about to go judge a, a Japanese comedy competition yeah. next week. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where? Uh, in Tokyo. Global comedian airing on Nippon TV yeah. wow. January second. Nice. Oh wow. Yeah. That's nice. really cool, man. Yeah, I'm excited. That I had it. to come back here and judge and remember how to judge com comedians again. Yay! Remember, remember your, remember us over there. I will. I love it, man. Roast battle. Represent us well Woo! in Japan. Yes, yeah, right. that's awesome, Jay. Oh my God. Yeah, now, show, yeah. Show the Japanese what America's all about, Jay. Yeah. 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 Two more times. <laughs> Was that a nuclear weapon joke? That was a nuclear bomb joke, everybody. Oh. Now people are starting to get a little more. That right joke right. went over like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> it really did. This is fun. Thank We're doing respect. our own warm-up tonight. How you guys ladies uh, doing over here? What's ladies. happening? Ladies. Oh, hi. What's up? How you doing? Welcome to Hollywood, ladies. All right. Couple of young porn stars here tonight. <laughs> Jeff, it's different. It's, it's OnlyFans now. There's no stars. These are like, it's like mid now, you know? OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, nobody's, nobody's a star. I They're just getting in the porn for the exposure these days. Yeah. I feel so lucky to have my pal, one of the greats of roast battle legend status. Legit. Y Yamanika. <laughs> Hi, oh. Yami. What's up, Yami? Welcome back. Yeah, you know, I always have to come here when I'm in town. So As long as you can park in the lot. <laughs> She's oh, like, yeah. if I can't park in the lot, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm like, don't threaten me, Yami. You're not leaving. You. You're not leaving. No, I'm excited. Um, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> let's fucking do it. So like the audience. Yeah, baby. All right, let's get into it. We've got uh, four battles. One's good. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I get it now. This crowd is high. <laughs> All right. Uh, this first one's exciting. These are a couple of uh, Latino people, so we have to um, we got to do them first before they get deported. So 
Yeah. Uh, this guy's 0-1 from East LA. Make a lot for Marquez Acuna. <laughs> Big Mark, what up? Hell yeah. What up, Mark? Grab your weapon right over there. Guys, keep it going for the, the Instagram model that is Marquez Acuna. This guy's handsome. Damn right. Yeah, yeah. What do you do, what do you do for a living, Mark, besides the stand-up? Uh, I sell air conditioners. Damn yeah. right you do. Yeah. yeah. So, OnlyFans? <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Uh, I know, trust me. Uh, because, yeah, it doesn't work on stage either. Anyway, all right, uh, Mark, you're battling uh, Illy Cortez. Racist sounding name, by the way. Illy Cortez, sounds like you made that up um, two minutes ago when your name was Silly Illy, but all right. Uh, so why are you doing this to this young lady? Oh, she, I mean, I was like her last resort, so. Yeah. All right, so this is like a date. Fun. Aww. Audience, Aww. fucking get with this, okay? We're having fun here. This lady's from Modesto, the home of Scott Anthony. Keep it going. For Hilly Cortez, everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this one, man. All right, Illy, uh, this is your first time doing this. You've never battled before. Why, why'd you choose uh, Marquez? Uh, Marquez and I are friends, and I wanted to tell him how I really feel. Really? <laughs> well, let me fucking, uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is one round three jokes in English. <laughs> oh, shit. Who's going first? Uh, Marquez. Marquez? Because yeah. he's a gentleman. Folks, make a lot for Ice Spice and uh, some kind of Latin person. Battle! Battle! Marquez! That lady! Let's go! When Illy first told me that she wanted to do stand-up, I was very nervous for her. Because in comedy, most of the microphones are black. And I was afraid that when she got one in front of her, instead of telling jokes, she would try to deep-throat it and tattoo its name on her chest. Mike. Uh, uh, Marquez is a 37-year-old single Mexican man with no kids. He's also a professional dancer. So I don't know why he hasn't come out the closet yet. His mom's already dead, so he's got nobody to disappoint. You know? We could be out here sucking these dicks together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, look, Illy says the N word a lot. It bothers me, right? We did a show in South Central and I asked one of our, our, one of our black friends, I was like, hey, are you cool with how much she says the N word? I feel like we should make her take a DNA test to show her she didn't have that much African in her. He told me, Marquez, no need, man. Illy has lots of African DNA in her. I said, really? He goes, yeah, look, these 23 and me. Okay, buys his clothes from TJ Maximo. I said it in English. I feel like I know, I understand why Marquez hasn't come out the closet. You know, um, it, it's probably because being gay would really suck with teeth that big. <laughs> you know? Huh. Being gay would suck with teeth that big because, you know, every time you would suck a guy off, you know, they would come out circumcised. <laughs> Let's joke. Illy, Illy makes me laugh, man, because she, she acts like she's from the streets, but she's not. She grew up a Jehovah's Witness from Modesto, California. The, the closest thing that Illy has to street cred is the fact that once she did take someone's life in the hood. Which hood? It was a Planned Parenthood, but I think that counts. I think... I think that counts. I, I... Okay. <laughs> um, karma, karma is a bitch. 
Uh, Marquez actually has a list from nerve damage. He claims it's from the dentist, but I don't believe it, man. I, I think what really happened is that he was his karma for going down on a dude with Down syndrome. Thanks, my lord. Ooh, God work. Let me go over Elliot Cortez and Marquez and Cuban, everybody. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's right. This is how Rose Battle does telenovelas. This is how we do them. All right, uh, Jay Light, um, say something that will get you canceled about these two Latin American people. Oof, pass. Uh, <laughs> no, this was this is a fun battle. I uh, I really like this battle a lot. I did really appreciate that, Marquez. Your jokes were very long. It was like you were doing like a telenovela soliloquy every single time you were going on. Silly Illy, your hair and your smile, it's fantastic. You look like a jack-o'-lantern that's been sitting out on the porch since October. <laughs> They're high. I had to give a minute on that one. Uh, I was going to give it to you at first because your jokes were super short and sharp, and that's kind of what works really well at Rose Battle. Marcus took more of a risk, but also you took a really big risk by putting uh, your closer as a joke that was absolute dog shit. So uh, Marquez gets my vote. Good hey. Work. All right. Yamanika, who do you like here in this uh, photo of Mark Anthony before he got with J-Lo? <laughs> It's like a community theater version of West Side Story. <laughs> it does look like that. It's uh, Illy, that last joke. And then you be saying the N word, they say. Nunca, nunca, that's, that's her N word. I think for her it's the Enye word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's not my uh, I am Puerto Rican. So yeah, well, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know, bitch. Uh, it was a lot of dick sucking, this and that. It was a lot going against you. And even with that, you did better than this nigga up here drywall painting with this material he had going on. Jesus. Marquez, listen, you're gorgeous. You know, <laughs> never get into a car crash. Wow. Except for this one tonight on stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gorgeous. We're just, we're just teasing. I'm proud of you. You seem like she pulled you up here because she needed somebody, right? You yeah. wasn't really trying to do it. No, no, this is fun. I mean, it's, yeah, it's no, no, we. It, yeah, no. Let me, let me walk you up out of this properly. <laughs> You got a last minute call, you wasn't really invested, you were sucking some nigga's dick and you said yes. Damn. But, um, you know, you're talented. Ilya, I like you. I really do. I wish the last one, you know, Jay's right, just go whatever the fuck, you gotta just jump into the energy. Don't pull out no phone after you already doing it. And the nigga got so much material you can work with. You know, you don't need to go into the phone. But, but despite all of it, I'm giving it to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go to Doug Fager before we go to Jeff here, I guess. Uh, who do you like, Doug? Do you like um, Miguel Reif or Michelle Lobos? <laughs> well, I mean, Yamanika, Yamanika kind of covered the positive in this battle, so I figured <laughs> I would take the opposite. No, uh, this was this was actually good. I disagree with Yamanika. I thought you both did a good job. You lost steam, obviously, when you forgot your joke. Um, I did. I do appreciate a battle between Dime Store Mark Consuela and Kelly Ripa Jeans. Uh, and uh, this this yeah, battle, big this, daytime audience up here. <laughs> this, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this battle looked like it, it, it was a haggle over uh, prices in the VIP at, uh, at uh, Crazy Girls. Uh, anyways, we're losing steam fast here, Local guys. Let me, let me die. Let me, I'm going to jump ship and vote real quick. Uh, I'm going to give it to Marquez. He, he clearly had it. You like it. No one's uh, enthused about that. It's so <laughs> They're like, mm. Doug, you said it all. <laughs> <laughs> what is this here? Is that chocolate? What is that? Oh yeah, you can get out here. Is that chocolate? Oh. 
Shout out chocolate. Look, Yami, we got chocolate. Chocolate. Uh. Wow, I, I feel like I feel like when I go to the audience, I feel like chocolate might be on the, the, the third person on the ballot here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Who'd you like in this one, Joe? Well, I thought it was a fun way to kick off the battles, but uh, I think Silly Illy, I think you got him pretty good. So, Silly oh, Illy, Illy Illy. It's one, on you. Oh. It's an undercard. Let Jeff choose some chocolate. Who do you like here, guys? Do you like Marquez Acuna? Yeah. Right? Nice. Yeah. He, right? Okay. But did, he, but did he win the battle to you? That's your girl, though. But he can get it. All right. But who won the... But... <laughs> first, first Marquez, of all, just take the dick. That's all you uh, need tonight. Win-win. Suck that dick. Suck that dick. Oh. Suck that dick. dick. Yeah. Suck, suck that, that dick. dick. Suck. Hey. That's Come on now. Sucks. This chocolate sucks. No, it was this great. chocolate <laughs> sucks. Here, I don't want any more. Oh, do good. you like, or do you like Illy Cortez? This is good. Keep it going for Miss Illy Cortez. Hug each other. Hug each other. Hug each other. There you go. One more time, Illy Cortez and Marcus Acuna. Right. One more time for Autistic Thunder. And a reminder, everybody, get your children vaccinated. What? Yes. Make more of me. I don't think that's that's what happened. All right, whatever. Uh, let's get into this. Um, thank you for being here, by the way. Uh, yeah. Chester Cheetah playing Prince in a movie. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Little orange Corvette. Yeah. Cheesy. All right. uh, this person coming to the stage. These are two Jewish men. Um, sorry, but this is how this town works, guys. Uh, this man is from Indiana. There's Jews in Indiana? Uh, all right. He's never done this. Make love for Jared Kassenbaum. <laughs> Yes, yes, Jared, yes, 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 Jared, yes. What's up? I'm not Jewish, though. Um, what is this last so name? It just, people Bob? just assume that all the time. Do they because, really? Because I have Baum in my last name. Yeah, and the nose. Okay, yeah. And the glasses. Yeah. And you're my accountant. Yeah. <laughs> you're the one paying me. You're the one paying uh, me. You're Jewish. You're Jewish. Anyway. I teach, I teach him how to dance and shoot hoops, guys. So chill out. If, you want to do this, if we're going to play the, the stereotype Olympics, we're fine. This is the show. Jesus Christ. All right. From Indiana, you're battling uh, David Rosenberg, who is Jewish. Yeah, yeah. A little so bit more clearly. His, where's that on his sleeve? He has a tattooed on his arms. Um, but why are you battling him? Uh, well, we were playing tennis in a comedian's only tennis group, mm -hmm. and I beat him pretty swiftly. Wanted to give him a chance to defend himself. Okay. Let's meet this athletic man. Uh, folks, he's one-on-one -on -one from Connecticut. <laughs> Money. Make it loud. David Rosenberg! Three games out of 12. I want three games, Oh, shit. Don't you fucking talk to Kevin Spacey before he got fucking popped. Shit. This is my real hair! I know. You look good. Sure. Good to see you. Uh, Rosie. Yeah. How's the marriage going? Yes. <laughs> Gotta get you out of that zone for a second. Sorry about that. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, but Battle and Jared, how do, you, how do you know this guy? Is it from tennis? Yeah, it's from tennis. Really? And this yeah, is why you guys are doing this? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. This is really. Yeah, we did like shows in San Diego, whatever. I like it. You guys don't like, like you know, like uh, other minorities, like, you know, the ones that aren't white. Like, they, like, they, when they want to fight somebody, they actually fight. You guys came up here to fucking rap battle each other? <laughs> I, rap, I, uh, I roasted a Latino guy the last time. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'm being racist. All right, let's get into this. One round, three jokes. David and, and Jared. Uh, who's going first? You got this? Folks, are ready? Battle. 
up? What's up? I, I was really excited. David uh, challenged me to be here with him. I don't know if you guys know, he's like a big crowd work comedian. That's what he does. He's made it his whole thing. But even though crowd work is like the main way folks are going viral these days, uh, David's never gone viral. Um, he's like Matt Reif, but without the yeah. sexual charisma, charm, or likability. <laughs> uh, Jared grew a mustache because he didn't like the shape of his face. That's true. That's true. He literally said, you know what would be a better look? Pedophile cop. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, David wants to be a, a cruise comedian. Uh, that's what he says. That's what he's going for. Uh, but he's run into issues with cruises not wanting their audiences sad and depressed. Um, but he tells them, I can relate to the other main target demographic of the cruise. Stepdads who won't have their kids call them dad. Uh, All right. Jared's, uh, Jared's wife is the first woman uh, that he's had sex with. That's true. That's true. Yes, that's true. that's true. Which means he's had sex with one woman and literally hundreds of men. I think that's an insult on my wife more than it is me. Um, but incorrect. Uh, last joke. Uh, David, uh, this has been... This has been very fun, but uh, if you're here, then who's making sure the travelers pay the toll when they cross the bridge? Uh, Jared is a Christian youth minister. He doesn't do it for the money. He just does it to smell the seats after the kids leave. Everybody, Jared Kassenbaum, David Rosenberg. David Rosenberg. Jared Keep it going! Do we have to? Damn right. That they was didn't... like if Yacht Rock was a roast battle. They didn't, they, they didn't keep it going. Why do we have to keep it going? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Silly Lee back up here to look at her phone again? <laughs> wow. David, why, why, why are your arms folded? Are you okay? Is everything all right? Take a deep breath. <laughs> You were doing great. Uh, yeah, you came out of the uh, came out of the gate with a good one about his mustache and the shape of his face, and then I don't know, it got bad after that. But that's okay. You look good. <laughs> you look good. You just called him gay, which is not really a joke. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, you got to put a little spin on it than just other than like you fucked hundreds of guys. And he's like, yeah, possibly. It's he's not. calling it, yeah, he's, slush, he's slut shaming him. That's what he's doing, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not anyway. the gay, yeah, it's just like he's a slut. Oh, I guess I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Yeah. But I'm surprised, I'm surprised that no. y'all sitting there looking like you shocked that you getting this kind of information. <laughs> like, like y'all thought y'all was killing this shit. What? <laughs> it's wild. You fix your face, bro. This is nice. Cause I'm gonna come up next. Uh oh. Sure. Yeah. Oh, somebody said which face. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, vote for one of these fucking Trump uh, well, cabinet the, the, In that Jeff. case, um, even though you both had some good moments, I thought Jared Kassenbaum. There Did I say that right, Jared? Uh, there's actually no N. I don't know where that's coming Kassenbaum. from. Kassenbaum. <laughs> Kassenbaum. Anyway. Yeah. All right. I mean, uh, you look at me like when you say, what the fuck, Jared? I didn't write my name on that. No. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know so, who. So why'd you look at me? Like, I, I, I wrote something. Jesus. You know how to write. But uh, I, thought, I thought, Jared, I thought you kind of confidently remembered your jokes. You were like, remembered them. You were in the moment. I remembered and them. They weren't that yeah. funny, but they okay. were clever. They were clever. Yeah. And you delivered them with confidence. And uh, Said that he enunciated them. We all understood yeah, them. Yeah, that was yeah. great. And David, David, it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Yamanika, Yamanika, would you like to weigh in? Oh my God, I had so much hope for David because your personality is so fun. Like when you came up and then you just you killed a Jew inside of you somewhere. But I don't know. It's a, I don't know. I don't know. The fact that both of y'all are married is wild. Um, Damn. <laughs> That's the joke of the battle, fuck. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for Yamanika on this one. Uh, you know, <clears throat> mm. 
Mm-mm. I'm a Christian, but I, you know, I got a. You know, I know. That's what I'm trying to find. I'm not like a youth minister. I don't know where that came from. I just wanted to throw that out there. Oh yeah. Okay. Like that's the bad part. What the fuck is going on here? No, it's the, you know what it was. Both of you guys were way. I could tell the way you both delivered your last jokes. Those were the jokes you were like. I can't wait till we get to this last one because I'm gonna kill him with this. And you didn't think about any of the other shit. Y'all was just because the last two jokes were funny. Yeah. It was like you both was waiting for that, and then it was filler shit. I, it, it was like trying to pick the fifth member of Destiny's Child. I like, I, who cares? Wow. Um, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah nobody cares about nobody that. Nobody cares. Yeah. You, you're both fair. Yeah, I don't even know what um, you're around. Yeah, yeah, that's all, yeah, yeah. Michelle's the third. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now we're thinking about Destiny's Child over here. I know, I know. Um, no, that's, that's Beyonce's sister. No, let's, 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 not, let's not get into this, David. No, uh, I'm trying to, because do I go with David because I'm a Christian or do I go, I mean, go with Jared because I'm a Christian and if I don't f- vote for David, he's going to say I'm anti-Semitic. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just because I don't think anybody's ever voted for David in his life. <laughs> If you niggas are one more time and it's a fucking roast battle, okay? This is not your fucking grandmother's eulogy. These niggas knew what they fucking signed up for. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> David, I'm gonna give it to you because I'm gonna have to get a project greenlit in about three days. And the mediocre Jews they put in the green lighting room. So I'm gonna need you to say yes on my project. All right. Projects. Hey, if I could green light projects, I wouldn't be here. But whatever. I'll just... Yeah. False it's premises. Not a good Jewish person. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys like this is like a good father battle. Like like those jokes were just so just like oh, we can't do any dad jokes. So anyway, go ahead. Oh boy. <laughs> this really did feel like a battle that was booked on a tennis court where you guys are just like we don't have anything better to do. If we're scoring this like it was a tennis match, it started out kind of like, like like love, love, and then both of you blew out your fucking ACLs trying to serve, and you just limp to the finish line. These, you guys look like you both, when you chew gum that's too minty, you both sneeze. Like, that's the vibe. <laughs> like, these guys both think peanut butter is too spicy, you know? Oh, my that's... God. No, no, yeah, you guys look like you both take paternity leave. It's fucking wild. <laughs> yeah. These guys look like they both got kicked out of boy bands. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, all right. This is offensive. I'm sorry about that. Oh, boy. I'm a, yeah. Now I'm anti Semitic now. Sure. All of a sudden. Yeah. Hey, it's, it is what it's. Uh, join the club. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I said that. I'm supposed to not get canceled before I go to Japan. Um, you guys, you guys look like you could lie about being in a boy band that didn't exist in the 90s, and it would probably be better for your careers than doing this battle was. Uh, but I will give it at the very. I'm going to give my vote. Ah, fuck. I'm going to give my vote to Silly Illy for this battle. I just Whoa. can't. I got to do it. Whoa. I got it. Wow. A crowd favorite. There was more dramatic tension in watching her pull her phone out than there was in this entire battle. Wow. I feel like this is how Ice Spice got famous. It was just a, just a bad week of white guy sales. We're like, oh, this, this, this Mexican girl can kind of rap is kind of good. Anyway. Who do you who do you want? Who do you like, Doug? I already did. Hey, I'm going to um, I'm going to Doug. I you know, up. I I liked Jared a lot because it was really it was really cool because I saw him earlier. He knocked on my door and tried to sell me a vacuum cleaner. Uh, he looks like a door to door vacuum cleaner from the '40s. Look, guys, and Doug, that joke and that joke sucked. <laughs> <laughs> vacuum cleaner jokes. No, no, first That's... of all, listen, Doug's jokes work from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. Thank you, thank These you. Your daytime references we're using. Thank here. you. Vacuum cleaners. <laughs> it looks like a vacuum cleaner salesman from the '40s. Come on, guys. That shit's gold. All right. I mean, it's not. Uh, David, I like from the '40s. David, that shit's I, gold. David, I like. Look at this woman here. I She's like... clutching her. She David, to leave. David, I like that. Uh, I like that. <laughs> I like David that you're the only Jew who's into a ceasefire because no shots were fired up there tonight. Uh, hey. Hey, finally, yeah. He's back. Yeah. He's back. 
Uh, Why did you preempt that with the fucking vacuum cleaner joke, Doug? You know, I may have I may have got the order wrong. To be honest, I may have got the order wrong. Uh, this felt like this felt like a battle at the Kinsey Institute to see how gay David is. Uh, you went back to the fifties after you yeah, fucking yeah, saved yeah, yourself. I to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Kinsey no, reference. I'm on a theme. And I, look, I can't let go. Negro. I, I, I can't, can't say let nigga go because it's not even in your era. I can't let go. I can't. I can't let go. I'm giving it. See, see, guys, it's. Uh, I'll, I'll fail with you. Look at us, all three together. I'm giving it to Jared, though. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Wow. All right. <laughs> Audience, it's on you. Who do you like? Do you like Jared Kasim? Bow. There's no M or N in his name. Or David Rosenberg. Shit. Or Ilya Cortez. I know, this happens sometimes. Jared and David hug each other, please. This is a draw tonight, you guys. This is a draw. Yeah. One more time for Jared Kasimbao and my man David Rosenberg. Battle. We did it. Battle. Battle. Hell yeah. Battle. Oh, oh right. this is going to be a nice. good one. Yeah, this is fun, Jeff. This will be a good one. Hell yeah. All right, uh, this guy coming to the stage from Northern Hollywood, California. Make it loud for Russell Navarrete. <laughs> Hell yeah, what up, Russ? My man, grab that one over there for me. What up, Russ? What's up, dude, what's happening? All right, you just got off your Caterpillar job? Sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, you're battling digits. Do you guys know each other? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. How do you guys know each other? Uh, we actually work every now and then together at do you our really? house, yeah. Oh, shit, sure. you guys get picked up at Home Depot together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna step on digits joke. Sorry about that, it might yeah. be his joke. Um, all right, let's just bring this cat up. He's 14 and 21. Um, <laughs> Is that true? That's true. <laughs> yeah, he's actually losing right now. Seven points to the Lions, it looks like. 14, 14 and, 21. and 21, man. Yeah, 14 and 21. That was like Mickey Rourke's character in The Wrestler. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's going to be a good oh, one. It's going to be a good one. 14 and 21, that's also the range that the girl Diddy likes. Um, <laughs> I had to get it in, Jeff. It's only good for another week. Good it's job. It's only good for one more week. All right. From India, this guy used to be a rap battle, and now he's a famous roast battle. I'm making love for my man, Los Digits! 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 Yeah, don't step on my jokes or my mic. <laughs> what up, motherfuckers? What's up, Los Digits? What's up, Moses? This is going to be a good one right here. We got Los Digits versus Less Digits. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that record, though. He does have a lot of digits. 14, 21, that's a lot of numbers. Dig, what's going on, man? What have you been up to? Oh. What up? Why am I battling Russ for? Yeah. Why are you battling with this guy? Because his uncle brought me here. <laughs> and he's the only one that can take me out. <laughs> one round, three jokes. Russell, Edgar, who's going first? I'll go first, motherfuckers. Come on. Hey, yo, Russ's girlfriend just left him because she thought he gave her an STD. It turns out this motherfucker just eats pussy with a hand. That's why it burned. <laughs> fuck yeah, everybody. Give it, up, give it up for Edward James almost got deported. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Fucking, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but Digits is in that, that world famous rap group. I don't know if you guys heard of them, Immigrants with Attitude. <laughs> yeah, they had that number one hit straight out of Crossing the Border. Yeah, give it up for Polly Chorizo. 
Uh, yo, Russ hates when people use the N-word. Especially when they use it twice in a sentence like, Russ, no means no. Fuck yeah, everybody. Give it up for Sean Pendejo. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. You know, Did just went through a lot of phases in his life. He used to be a punk rocker. Then he became a battle rapper. And you know, like as a friend, I'm just really glad to see himself be in his own shoes as a Raiders cheerleader. Shut up, George Hopeless. Uh, yo, this motherfucker is an anti-Semi. Wait, hold on, fools. I mean, I don't mean like he hates Jews. I mean, he ate semi truck because his uncle died behind one. <laughs> hey, this fool looks like he failed preschool. <laughs> Dude, Digits is so Mexican. His first pet were roaches. <laughs> Shut up, Hot Cheeto Santino. <laughs> well, more or what, fool? All right, fuck it. I don't know what this is. All right, yo, you know what? This one looks like he's into metal. Not the music, fool, the recyclables. <laughs> yo, those dishes! Russ Navarrete! Battle, battle! That was good. It was very good. That was fun. Yo. Wow, that was a lot of fun, you guys. Give it up for both of these guys. So Russell fun. and Digits. Man, Russell, you had some good comebacks, man. How many times have you battled Digits before? No. No? All right, well. Dig, man, you had me with that Pauly Chorizo joke. <laughs> and uh, that semi truck, that's anti Semitism. That's your best joke ever at Roast Battle. That was such a good joke. That That's was such a good joke. my people over there in Hamas, or whatever. <laughs> my Hummus. people over there in Hamas. Isn't that like, Ham Hamas is like by Jerusalem, right? <laughs> like it's an AP biology class. Shit. <laughs> you know, my, my anyway, uh, I, on a lighter note, uh, you were great. And I love that metal joke at the end. That was awesome. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Let's see what the other judges think. Let's see. Jay Light, who do you like? I, uh, first of all, I would like to know which one of you guys has my catalytic converter. If you could talk to me after. Uh, hey, I'll look. pay street prices for it. I only get shit from Priuses, so it might be me, fool. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Russell, this is, be. this is, I've never seen you battle before. You're very fun, great jokes, but Digits, this, I mean, I, I've got to echo what Jeff was saying. This is some of the best joke writing I've ever seen you have in Roast Battle before. The anti-Semite joke, the recycles joke, those are some absolute bangers. I'm giving this one to you. Yo, thank you. Hey, hold on. Before you guys say anything, dog, I steal a lot of shit, but not jokes, fool. Wait, what, what do you steal? Uh, from ABC, fool? Let's do it, dog. <laughs> Astrology books. Uh... Things in bulk, <laughs> catalytic converters, uh, dimes. <laughs> I do, dog. Who said that? Yami, what do you think, Yami? Yami. Uh, it's so. This was great, you know. Digits, man. You're like a MS14. <laughs> That's um, a Salvadorian fool. <laughs> I don't know, right? Cause I I, I dated somebody retarded like Digit said. <laughs> <laughs> that was like my best relationship, so I'm a little biased. Um, cause wow. he's fun. I mean, Russell, you're so great. You really are, but it really is hard going up against that type of person now. You know what I mean? Because it's like you play this straight and then you, you they gonna give it to the slow kid because <laughs> He needs it, you know what I mean? But Russell, I don't want you to, like you fu like funny, but did you put the mask back on to rob me, nigga? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> he threw that mask, where's my purse at? I'm just, uh, I'm just practicing my black face. <laughs> just calm down, nigga. I'll fuck you with the mask on or off. But. <laughs> yeah. Battle. Oh my God, oh my yeah. God. Battle, Battle right? Battle. Cut off, cut off. <laughs> Cut off, 
Cut off. Cut off. Oh, you look like the, the, the black M&M. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. I feel like my pussy gonna smell like Pap's Blue Ribbon later on tonight. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Was... I've never heard a fucking role play. <laughs> Let's role play the mass Singer. That's disgusting, you guys. I'm the mass uh, Swinger. He's already boy. gonna break. Hey. <laughs> All right, Brilliant. listen, listen. No, but this was great. Thank you guys so much for giving us such an entertaining Woo! battle. Really, it was it was really great. But I do have Russell. I love your writing, but I do have to give it to Digits. Okay. Hell of a performance by Digits, Doug Fager, Battle Bots writer. Moses, since I have such a hot hand tonight, I'm surprised you didn't come to me first. Uh... No, Jeff, Jeff, <laughs> Jeff wants the people first. I. Uh, um, this was great. It looks like you found these guys at Home Depot. Hey, that's that's good wordplay. They just don't trust. Yeah, work outside of they what just, you work inside of. They wolf just wolf. they don't they don't trust me anymore, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Uh, guys, this was uh, this was really fun. Digits, you always bring the energy. It's always fun to watch you do your thing on stage, and it was you tonight. Right. Audience, make it official. Do you like Rose Navarrete? Yeah. You do. He's very funny. Or, do you like digits? He came in here 1421, now 1521. Make it loud for digits! We love him. Batel, Batel. Josh, you want to put that in the, uh, the stand over there? I love this crowd tonight. This is a good oh, crowd. Yeah. Where are these fun people? Brian, talk to these people in the front. Where, these where? guys? These are yeah. great. These are uh, Illy Cortez's family. Illy Cortez's family. family. You yeah. guys seem like you're yeah, having that's fun. That's her mother. That's her father. That's her stepbrother and sister. <laughs> her whole family. Yeah. Damn right. Yeah. Everybody's so progressive here. Uh, Last battle of the night already? I don't know. We just got here. What Let's the it. fuck, it's man? It's been a long night. Uh, we have some Are you having fun, coming. you guys? Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. Having a blast. Who's still here? Nice. Yeah, we're excited. Let's do it. All right, these two are fun. Uh, this guy I bring to the stage is eight and five from Hawaii, a former belly room champion. Make a lot for Evan Warner! <laughs> Up. Yes, sir. From Hawaii, make love for Evan yeah. Warner, everybody. Yes. Yes. You're the man. Mr. Steal Your Girl, Evan Warner. Damn yeah, right. Hey. A young Jay Light, we call him in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he be yeah. fucking like I do, too, I can tell. You can tell, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, but people don't know, 2015 J Light, holy shit. Oh my God. Oh, disgusting. Broke beds. Yeah, I'm in awe whenever I watch it. Yeah, wait, what? Now what? Now I you... gave him the game tape so he could learn. Yeah. You've changed, yeah. Your, changed it up or what? Why? Oh, I'm just, I'm in a, I'm in a relationship now. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you... I'm only breaking one bed these days. Hey! Right? Yeah. And Evan's girl was in a relationship till she met Evan, then Evan took yeah. Yeah, but she's still married, so... My nigga. <laughs> Infidelity. We love it here at the Rose Battle. All right, Evan, why are you battling Luke Binko? Uh, Luke promised me if he lost, he'll move out of his mom's house so I can fuck her louder. All right? <laughs> That's how you set up! Mr. Still, your mom! Holy yeah. shit! Wow! Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well... I do have to be honest, it is past this young man's bedtime, but he is undefeated here at the Rose Battle. We love him. Make it loud for the baby face, Luke Bingo! Yes, yes, yes. Luke Binky, how are you, sir? Uh, uh, I'm good. I'm good, sir. Thank you for asking me. Sick respect. Goddamn right. Uh, all right, Luke, you're battling Evan over here. Why are you doing this to him? Um, well, I'm kind of excited. The winner of this battle is actually going to get a blowjob from Evan's girlfriend. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, and the loser will get one. 
And the first 10 people who ask her nicely will also get a blowjob. So. <laughs> Like that. Hey, say that, that's a married woman. Let's not talk about this. One. Right. Married one round is five jokes. Who wants to go first? You got this? Damn right. Age before beauty. Are we ready for this? Bad up. Last night of the night. Yes, bro. Doesn't Luke look like he'd join a frat just to get spanked? Like, you're gonna join the frat, Magma, come and Luca. I feel like everyone here can agree we just know what Evan's house smells like. <laughs> just like incense and weed, there's no paper towels. Yeah, and I can't get out the scent of your mom's pussy. I can't. I'd know if you fucked my mom, you would have moved up in a tax bracket. <laughs> You know, Luke actually grew up in Santa Monica, so he's really used to the sound of his mom yelling at migrant workers. You wanna feel like you're at home? Pablo, thrust harder! All right, well, doesn't Evan look like the youngest rapist at a Grateful Dead concert? Wait, Evan, if you're here, who's assaulting that girl behind the porta potties? Dude, you look like after you roofie a girl, you Fortnite dance, all right? Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't Luke look like he snores like <sighs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Evan, you're a carpenter, so you know, you roofie the girls on the roof he built. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> this is a disaster. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Evan. This is great, guys, don't worry. Evan is ugly and has a tiny dick. But good news, he's also poor. Triple threat, Evan, for the suicide hotline. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Peter Pan if instead of doing fairy dust, he just did ketamine? Uh, Evan has a twin sister. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, but Luke's sister just... <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Luke's sister just turned 19. I'm happy she's old enough to finally give him consent. <laughs> Uh, Evan's beard is so shitty, brown, and filled with cum. I thought it was his girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for the main event. Evan Warner, Luke Binkow. Luke Binkow, Evan Warner. Man, that was fun. Uh, Odell Beckham Jr., who did you like in this battle? I did say Odell Beckham Jr. Thank you to all the sports fans who get that reference. No, but yeah, because earlier you said one of them get it. Which one of these? Uh... Okay, yeah, JTT. Yeah, all right, good. That's what... All right, so now we, we have one vote. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jay Light. Which one of these doppelgangers do you like? I really, I love this. Ba I love watching this battle between David Koresh and one of the kids who burned alive in his compound. <laughs> nice. Nice. This was a fun... It, Luke, it did not help the fact that you look so young and your voice cracked in the I middle know. of your last joke. This is... Okay. I'm just too tired. It's so, <laughs> it's so late. Sleepy boy. I did love... My favorite joke from yours, Evan, was the, the snoring joke because he does look like one of these honk shoe ass motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Um, f this was a really fucking close battle for me. I, and, I'm, and I'm going to go by this. I, I think you both had about the same amount of hits and misses. It was a little uneven, but they both uh, you both had some good jokes. But Luke, I think your pops for your jokes were bigger than Evans overall. So I'm going to give this one to Luke. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm a nigga. You like Ben Savage or Hunter S. Thompson over here? <laughs> can uh, can we? You the go, baby, because I always feel like you feel like we're not giving you any love. You go. You go. 
Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, Yamanicki, you're right. Let's go to Doug, because you're right, it will be weaker. Go why, ahead, Doug. Why? That's why, why she said yeah, that's literally why she said How dare you, how dare you? I fucking quit. Oh, uh, this, you know, Evan, this is really funny. I, 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 I feel bad for Luke that you kept making fun of his mom, and it also made my life harder, because now I'm going to have to console her later. <laughs> Keep it going. Uh, the mom train. I, I, I think you're older than my mom, bro. I don't know. You look. Aren't you like 40? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Your mom's not 40? Nah, dude. What the hell? That's, like, my ass. That's what's up. All right. Well, <laughs> she likes. Let's, let's, my mom's hot. His mom really They're, do be fucking. Damn. Yeah, she likes. She likes older men. What can I say? <laughs> Uh, I love 40. I love 40. This, uh, anyways, I'm gonna fuck Luke's mom later, and we all know it. Uh, let me just make it clear: I will be fucking this him. No, no matter what my age, I will be fucking his mom. Uh, Tell Doug. But, uh, but you guys did have. I also like how Luke. Part of Luke's excuse for his performance was he was too tie tie. Ooh, I was too tie tie. Um, <laughs> But uh, I'm going to give this by a hair to Evan. It was close, but I edge it to Evan. Oh, man. And Evan edges it to Luke's mom. Yeah. Got to be honest, I've never seen that before. I mean, Judd, sorry, Doug has judged a bunch of these and he's nailed a bunch of people. I've never seen him rattle from ageism. I've never <laughs> seen that. You look like a woman who was like 35. You were like, oh, don't call me 35. That was brilliant, but thank you, Luke. I needed to see that. That was great. They can't even see my male pattern baldness either. That's <laughs> what it was. I was like, how does he know? <laughs> oh, we've been doing this for 10 years. We are old, Doug. Go ahead, Joe. Um, there's a hot mom right here. It looks Woo! pretty fuckable. Hey! Nice. Carolyn, stand up. Tell your mom to stand up. Oh, she's a mom? Oh, shit. I thought she was a sister. Yeah. Yeah, see, she's pointing out. That, I think they matter. fucking roofied me with that chocolate. <laughs> Can I have another one? The yeah, Amanique ate that one. <laughs> Which one should I eat? It gets one of these. The last one wasn't the good. The last one wasn't good. No, you keep picking the wrong kind. <laughs> yeah, you got to get the truffles. They got better filling inside. Woo! Don't and, give it to Luke. He won't go to bed. Anyway, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I'm stretching out this last battle because I don't want it to end. Evan and Luke, you guys both killed it. You guys were so funny together, and I especially like how uh, Evan came out like swinging in the beginning, even before Luke came out there. He was fucking ready to go, and that was really fun. But scoring-wise, um, I had Luke by uh, by one point. So. Well, folks, you're winner of the main event. Keep it going. Oh, is it Evan? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, sorry, Ems. You're right, you're right. It's tied? It is tied, it's tied. Oh, what? which one is which? That's a great question, actually. You're right about that. Well, yeah, I was shook on that 40 shit, too, because I'm 45, nigga, so I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I'm old enough to be your mother, but the problem is I would have aborted you a long time ago. Also, if you were his mother, we would have fucked already. <laughs> okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it did. It has been very sexual tonight. Um, yeah, you guys are great. I'm scared because I, you, you know, both of you. As long as you're here, there's nobody shooting up a school or a grocery store. Or but. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Did you take a good one? Um, <laughs> they was hit. They, you right. They hit at the same time and dipped at the same fucking time. It's wild. I don't eat. You don't eat what? <laughs> Were you about to say you don't eat big, ass? Cause big reveal. We got to know this. I feel like you probably do eat ass, so I didn't understand that. Oh, wait a minute. This is the nasty one. Does this have some type of... Cheese in it. Ugh. Mm -mm. Okay, but the rest of them been good. Um, Damn. there's nobody not to take no chocolate from white women. They're 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 Brazilian. Are they? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other ones was good. That one was thick. I think that's the one he had. Um, 
Anyway, what'd you, <laughs> what'd you think of this Freaks and Geeks reboot? It's so hard for me. It's so... I re- cause honestly, These guys look just... like they met in a dentist's office. <laughs> oh, my God. They do look like that. They're going to get checked up. They're Their fighting mom. over the same highlight. Yes. Nobody no. goes to the well, dentist in here. No. <laughs> I'm missing two teeth on the side, so I know I didn't go to the dentist. Um, I really think we should go to the audience because, you know... Who Evan? You didn't get you. They you should be tied and tied right now. You want to go one really, more joke? Yeah, yeah, let's do one more joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah All right. Since Evan went first, Luke, you're up first. Let's roll. Um. All right. Yeah. Uh. Thanks. <laughs> That's okay. Dad, dad, let me... Come on, please. Come on. I just think the coach is being out of line. I got it. it. It's fine. You're embarrassing me. God. I was good at one time. Please. Uh, Evan used to work in a movie theater, but they fired him after what he did at that Batman screening. Doesn't Luke look like he'd post his sex tape on TikTok? <laughs> but those can go for a whole three minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty good. Can't believe you saved that one, Luke, but pretty good. All right, judges, what do we think? No, but Evan's great too, but Luke did it. He does have it today. He won. He got it. Folks, undefeated 4 0, oh, Mr. Luke Bingo! Hug each other, you two. This is the Rose Battle, everybody. We do it every Tuesday here at the World Famous Comedy Store. That's Jay Light. That's Yamanika Saunders, Doug Fager, and the Rose Master General, Jeffrey Ross. One time for me, Autistic Thunder. All my sound guys and production guys, we love you. We'll be here next Tuesday. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs>